Hey guys, Benji here. Um, just a quick, like, sort of like a follow-up video on the surfer video I made two or three days ago. Um, so I just I showed you how to make the server within three and a half minutes, basically. This is the server here. Um, just all basic, generic stuff. Um, this is how to optimize the server and how to make it run better and so it doesn't, like, lag out on you and your friends. So let's get into it. Um, so obviously first thing you'll need is the server, which is there. The link will be in the description for my tutorial. Um, the second step is this version of Java. You need this, I repeat, you need this version. Um, I've, I've done this video twice already and people still comment, it doesn't work. You need this version. So go to java.com. Go, go to downloads, click manual downloads, download this, Windows Offline 64-bit. You need 64-bit. You need 64-bit. Doesn't matter. Like, you need it. If you use, if you use 32-bit and 64-bit browsers and change where you... Yada, 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 just download this. Um, you need it because without it, you can't allocate RAM to any .job thing, so that includes like your Minecraft version, for example. You can't actually um, allocate more than 2 gigs or whatever it is, because it just doesn't work. Um, so the Java downloads here, just open it, just install, and yeah. Um, by the way, a an update on my sickness, I sound a little bit better. I have tonsillitis. How pog is that, right? <coughs> oh, that was good timing. Uh, yeah. So, yay. Uh, so out, out of date Java version detected. So obviously I've, I've already got it, but um, this is an older version. I can uninstall the older version. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. I can show you how to uninstall them later on. Um, it doesn't matter if you have it or not. Um, so once this is downloaded, so next, done. So you'll be prompted when Java updates are available. Always install updates to get the latest performance and security improvements. Um, yep, cool. And yeah, so now let me open up server for video, which is my server, like, what's it called? Server folder. And this is the server.jar. You want to right click in an open spot, click new text document. I'm just going to call it run. You can call it like start. You can call it whatever you want, like literally whatever you want. Um, obviously run would be ideal. And then in the description, I'm going to have this code. Um, this code is basically what allows you to be able to um, make this possible. So um, with Java 64-bit offline version and this code, it, that's what makes it possible. So in the description, just paste that. You don't need the echo off. I'll, I'll just probably get rid of that actually. And yeah, so this is the very generic one. Um, one gigabyte minimum, four gigabytes maximum. And again, this bit here, you have to make sure that this name, server.jar, is the exact same name here. If this says Minecraft underscore server, it won't work because there's no such folder as minecraft underscore server. So what this code does is it opens this fo um, file or folder. Yeah, I guess it's a executable. It runs this folder file with this much RAM. So if this one doesn't exist, it obviously can't run. So server.jar. For argument's sake, 
I'm going to do two gigabytes, which is 2048. Um, basically, every gigabyte is 1024. So if I pull up a calculator, just to make it a lot easier on myself. So one gigabyte is 124. And then use times that. So that's, yeah, that's two gigabytes. This is three gigabytes. This is four gigabytes. This is five gigabytes and so on and so forth. Um, this is eight, which I would recommend if you have a 16 gigabyte computer, 16 gigabytes of RAM that is. To see that, you can right click on the taskbar and click task manager, uh, more details and performance, memory, so 16 gigabytes. If it says eight, then I would recommend only allocating four maximum, just um, just in case, you know, just in case you have more stuff running. Because obviously in the background, I have four gigabytes ready in use. So if I allocate, say, 10, I've only got two spare. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do four and eight, which is, what was it, eight, one, nine, two? I can't remember. So 4096 times that by 2, it should be 8192, right? Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to save that. But you want to go to File, Save As, Save As Type, change it to All Files, and rename the .txt or .txt to bat, which is a batch file. And as you see here, it actually makes, makes a folder here. So if you run this, it opens up a little command prompt, prompt, and yeah, it opens. So now if I go to my Minecraft, 1.16.4, pretty sure I have like 10 gigs allocated, so I'm going to change that because I won't actually have that much possible. Apparently you only need four. Yeah, apparently Minecraft vanilla only requires four gigabytes of RAM to be fully optimized, which is very interesting. Oh, that hurt my throat. Uh, okay. So now if I go to localhost, my sound isn't working. Doesn't matter. And yeah, I'm in. FNF3FT. Did I say FT? FN, F3, and T. And yeah, my sound's working now. Pog. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not working on the video for some reason. Uh, yeah, so... As you see... It's better. The only thing is... It doesn't have the command... Like, if you open this, it doesn't have the... That up. It's only got the command prompt. There is a way to, to, to do that. I think it's the echo off thing that I that I get told you get rid of. Um, but it's not really necessary. You can still type like op, like that's Jared's username, and then yeah, like you can still type everything in here. Um, it just doesn't show you how much RAM and stuff is actually being used. But in my opinion, this is a lot better like a lot better. Um, I think it's my IP, so that's fun. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope this helps guys. So again, follow the video, please follow the video a hundred percent because if it, if you don't like, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter if you think you've got Java, like up updated and stuff, just, just download it. It's not going to hurt. It takes you, you literally saw how long it took me like, two minutes max. It took me about 10 seconds to download it and I, I live in Australia. You know, you know how our internet over here is. Um, yeah, so download the Java, the correct version. Just rewind the, rewind the video, just watch it in like 0 0.25 speed if I was too quick. Just make sure that everything is exactly how I did it. If you have any questions, Make sure to ask. I do respond even to this day. That video that I uploaded was three years ago. I still respond to them. 
I still respond to all the comments. I still heart comments. I still like comments. I still appreciate every bit of feedback and everything. So um, it's not like I'm going to disappear and just not help you. Um, so yeah, if this did help, you know, make sure to subscribe. And hopefully I can upload more videos over the next few weeks. Hopefully this week, once my voice stops dying. Uh, but yeah, thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.